the f is this shit? Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. And gardening. Have you ever wondered what a garlic scape is? Well, I wondered what it was when I first heard about them. And my first experience with them was on the menu at the, uh, the fancy tavern that's across the street, the gastro pub. And uh, I was like, well, what the, what the hell's a garlic scape? This is a garlic scape right here. So the garlic scape is part of the plant that shoots out and becomes the flower or the, the bubulbus, which I, uh, I called it that in another episode too. I don't know if that's the correct thing. Uh, I, I could Google it, but if you know anything about this show, I just can't be bothered to give you, you know, totally factual information. So these are a, a very, very uh, seasonal type thing in that they grow basically for like a few weeks in the spring or early summer. And if you do, if you don't you don't cut them, it's gonna be a flower, and that's how a garlic plant reproduces. But if you do, some people think that this lets the plant have more energy to make bigger bulbs. And if you grow in garlic, most people are like, I want the biggest bulbs I can grow, big bulbs. So let's go ahead and snip this. Doesn't hurt the plant at all. This one's actually wet. Look at that. That's crazy. That's a huge amount of liquid. You know what I'm gonna do? Damn, <laughs> that tastes like old garlic water. <laughs> like water that garlic soaked its feet in. That's what that tastes like to me. But at any rate, these are, these are interesting. They're completely edible. You can eat them raw, you can put them in salads and pestos, or you can pickle them, which is what we're gonna do today. If you, uh, if you harvest these too late, they become woody. And not very good, but that's very good. Ooh. Oh, that's spicy. So to me, that just tastes like raw f garlic. Like that's, uh, that's a little harsh, a little harsh on the, the tongue. But pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it's it's different from totally raw garlic, but I guess I guess I just don't have that refined of a palate and it just tastes like garlic to me. Uh, it's very crisp. It's almost like um, uh, undercooked as asparagus, but you know, like not not woody in any way whatsoever. So let's go jump, chop off yeah, a couple more of those. Yeah, yeah it's, it's real strong. So they get all curly and weird. These ones are even curlier. You can see by letting them grow, it's kind of kind of up the row. All that extra weight holding them down. I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. So let's take these inside and check them out. This is my house. So I'm just working with what I got. It's about 10 garlic scapes. Apparently some markets sell like in a big bundle, but I ain't ever seen that. Now like anything that you take in from the outside, you should wash it thoroughly before doing anything else. I'm gonna give these a scrubbing individually. They really don't look too bad. You know, they're like, they're not dirty or anything, in that they have not had direct contact with the ground. But never, uh, never hurts to be careful. Give them a good rinse. So although it would be comical to use this in a like salad or something as as such, no human being wants to eat something that is two feet long, unless they have an appetite for things that are you know difficult to put in their mouths. We'll leave it at that. So you have the option of either trying to coil these into your pickling jar, like like a zany, a zany person. Or you could cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And that looks cool, but I think I, I think I wanna take the more pragmatic approach. Well, let me just put them in there and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Some people remove the, the bulb looking thing. This guy, it will be the bulbous, but it's edible. I feel like we're gonna have to cut some of these just to, you know, get them in there. Yeah, we'll eat, what, that's, what a great compromise. Just cut some of them. <laughs> I'm gonna cut them into like vaguely green bean size, something like that. Okay, I got my cut scapes. And my favorite methodology of getting the scapes in there, or anything in a jar like this, is to just try to put them in as best you can. And then um, once they're in there, you just, you just give them a shake. Shake them down. And it works every time. They like <laughs> pretty uniformly distribute. Not overcrowded, and by the way, this is a, a pint jar, I think. I mean, I may be bigger than a pint, it's 24 ounces. I doubt that's a pint. All right, so let's make up brine, uh, which I don't have any pots. They're all dirty. That's not true, I'm sure they have a pot. Okay, so I'm gonna eyeball this. You could, uh, you could do better. This is white vinegar. Okay, and now we're gonna add some kosher salt. A little bit of sugar. Just a little bit for sweetness. Some uh, black peppercorns. And if you want, you could add other pickling flavors. 
like mustard seed, coriander seed, red chili flake. Dill is a, is a good one. But I want to just get that, I want like a pure and simple flavor. So none of that for me, thanks. A little bit of water. So we're going to heat this up. What we're making is, is uh, quick pickles. Essentially, there's nothing quick about it because we're gonna probably age them like six weeks at least But you don't even have to go like the whole canning method like pressurizing it or anything because these will last for like I don't know months and it'll be just fine and You probably are a fancy boy and are gonna eat them all in that time period anyways someday on the show I'll get around to Actually canning things, but I tell you what it's not today. So we'll be back. We're trying to dissolve the salt and the sugar in there Be back when it's simmering and uh, hopefully we can make this jar explode when we pour hot liquid in it. All right, it's boiled, it's dissolved, and ever since the uh, the chili oil incident, I'm just really paranoid about pouring hot things in the, the glass. But we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna put it in the sink. I'm gonna get a hot grabby. No safety goggles, but I'm probably gonna look away while I do this. Okay, here we go. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now, especially if you did not, uh, if you did not cut these, you can see it'll start coiling out, which is normal. So we're gonna push that back in there. Try to avoid using your fingers because that can contaminate these shits. And again, using, you know, I should have let that cool. Okay, I'm gonna tighten that more at a different time. We're just gonna let that. Uh, so this is gonna need to expand a little bit. Um, so I have that, that lid loosely on there. Should allow some of the heat to escape. Okay, and I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna forget about it. When it's cooled down, I'll, I'll tighten it a little. Uh, and that's how you do it. That's how you make pickled scapes. I don't know how they taste. It's gonna take six weeks. We're gonna put it in the fridge. And uh, either this episode will never come out, because sometimes we have projects like this and then we forget about them for years. Or that'll just be the episode and you'll be in suspense of how it tastes. So that's how you do it. Bye. Some time has elapsed. Couldn't tell you how long. Do you know, John? Months. Enough for this lid to rust. It's always a good thing. Let's give them a taste. This is the taste test for 2020 garlic scapes. But it tastes great. Oh, it's good. Mm. I don't forget how good these are. You want one, Kevin? This is garlic. Pretty good. The flavor is garlic. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, well, what else do you want to know? That's how you do it.